Today we are going to have a fun and exciting day. We are going to learn how to color root crops like carrots, turnips, and potatoes. After that, we are also going to learn how to draw and color an animal like a fox. And we are going to use special materials. Okay, are you excited? Because I am. Let's go. Okay, kids, for today, we are going to do two activities. We are going to do page 18 on your book and page 19. But first, we are going to finish first page 18. So what are the materials that we are going to use for page 18? We, of course, have paints, okay, a cotton bag, Pencils, color pencil, and a ball pen. We are supposed to use a bubble wrap, but we do not have it, so we are going instead to use the materials that I mentioned. Shall we start? Okay, we will start by coloring the root crops. We will start with the carrot. We have to color it neatly and beautifully. Okay. After coloring the vegetables, we can now color the soil. We will use our cotton bags. So let's dip it on the paint. Dip it on the paint and then we are going to stamp it on our worksheet so that we can show the soil. You can also use your pencil. Just dip, okay. Dip your pencil and then stamp it on your artwork. Okay, there you go. I hope you are having fun. You can also use your color pencil if you want. Okay, you can just do the same thing. Zip it and then stamp it. Okay, if you are done, you can turn to page 19. This is now our finished artwork. As you can see, we have here the colored vegetables and the colored soil. Okay, I hope you enjoyed your activity, kids. Okay, kids, open your book on page 19. So this time, we are going to draw an animal with fur. Okay, maybe we can draw a cat. So let's draw a cat. Let's start with the ears. Okay, draw the ears. And then, maybe we can... Draw the eyes. Okay, the nose. And then, the mouth part of the animal. We also have to draw the whiskers. Okay, after that, we have to use a fork. And, a watercolor. Or the watercolor. Add some water. And mix it. And mix it well. 
Okay, you have to see to it that the water and the color is mixed well. And then, the next thing that you are going to do is to stamp the fork around the face, okay, around the face of the animal which you have drawn. Okay, just keep on stamping the fork okay, until the face of the animal is covered. Okay, there you go. We can also color the ears to make the drawing more beautiful. So we are now done. Here is now our finished artwork. Okay, I hope you enjoy your activity, kids. Until next time. That's all for today, kids. I hope you had fun. Please don't forget to take a photo of the activities that you did. And send it back to teacher. Bye and see you again next time.